Who's for Breakfast on Radio Kerry in association with Moriarty Centra and Central Car Sales Farron 4. Cars, coffee and convenient shopping. So, last week Giselle Bunchen was guest and we started a brand new voice on Wednesday morning. We're now up to 80 euro and we'll keep adding 10 euro to it once it's, uh, until it's guest basically. And we'll also bring you for breakfast then. First up to play this morning is Theresa Ann. Good morning. How are you? Oh, you're gone. Oh. All right, then we go to Rory then. Morning, Rory. Morning, Andrew. How are you? Very good. You're in Tralee this morning, yeah? I am indeed, yeah. What's the plan for the day? What are you up to? Oh, I'll bring a few kids to Clarny to school. Right, okay. When you, when you say a f- when you say a few now, like your own kids, are you like bringing random like busloads of children or what's the story? Busloads. The bus, literally busloads then, right then. <laughs> you talk to Brendan in the afternoon, so he knows us as that bus. That, oh, it's, oh, you're that bus. We're that bus. All right then, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll say no more then. Rory, how was your weekend? Good? Good, excellent, yeah, very good. Nice one, nice one. Well, listen, I'll try and get you some cash then. It's up to 80 euro. Here he is, have a listen. We would meet up maybe once a week. Who do you think that is? I think it's Tony O'Donoghue from RTE Sport. We would meet up maybe once a week. Rory. Andrew. It's not Tony O'Donoghue from RTE Sport. No. no. All right, man. <laughs> Good guess. Listen, oh. safe driving though, all right? Uh, and try again and hopefully we get you back on sometime, all right? While I'm on, can I say a happy birthday to my to Daryl Byrne? He was 26 yesterday. Not a bother. Happy birthday, Daryl. Yeah, we'll give him a shout out on the birthday book as well later on. Is that all right? It's up here. Thanks very much. Nice one. Listen, Rory, safe driving. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye. Good luck, good luck, good luck. That's uh, Rory there driving uh, kids to Killarney this morning. I did have Therese Ann O'Donnell lined up as well, and I don't know, maybe thanks to technology in the morning, we've, we've lost her. So, Therese Ann, if you're listening, I apologise if it's me who cut you off, but uh, I'll try you again in the next hour if that's all right, okay? So, my apologies. You're there now, though, are you? I am, yeah. There How are you? Are. I'm very good. Where are you this morning? I'm in Drummer in Listowel. Right. How was your weekend? Very good, actually. We went to Chile, so it was lovely in the town park, actually. Oh, that's a job. You, you weren't one of those people dressing as a nun at the weekend, were you? No, I'm a nun every day. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then the evil little laugh at the end. I love it. <laughs> All right, then. Here he is. He's worth 80 quid. Have a listen. We would meet up maybe once a week. Who do you think? Is it Fred Siriex? Who? Fred Siriex from First Aid UK. Oh. That's a very good guess. It's a very good guess. But it's not the right answer, I'm it's afraid. That. Lovely, that's great. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. All that now just for me to tell you that you're wrong, huh? I oh, know. Oh, how bad. I got I to speak to you. Oh, sure. Have a good day. You too, enjoy. I'll see you later, right? <laughs> Thanks. Bye. bye that's bye, bye, Theresa bye. and O'Donnell there in the stall. Next up is Donna. Donna's in Killarney. Morning, Donna. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Did you have a nice weekend? Um, I was very busy um, rearranging the house and doing a big spring clean. Nice. <laughs> Is, isn't that one of the most satisfying things in the world to have that done now, it says, isn't it? It is once it's finished now. Yeah. Oh, you're not finished yet? <laughs> uh, curtains are still being washed and ironed. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> well, you see, that's fair enough. Uh, I tell you, I was, um, I, I did a bit of that back in, was it March, I'd say, did a proper clean out, full clean and everything, so proud of myself, got rid of loads of clothes and everything that I haven't worn, and I cleaned out this wardrobe, right, I was telling Elaine at the time, and I'll be honest with you, Donna, it's just back to the same crap again, just, <laughs> like, if, I, if, it we, happens. if we have someone staying, you know, I, I tend to use the spare room's bed as a kind of an unofficial wardrobe, and when we have people <laughs> staying, I obviously need to clear that bed, and it's just, right, ball this stuff up, and dump it in the corner and hope that no one notices that's kind of my version of you, it but anyway. you need a closet I, I, <laughs> I do what well, do you see this is the thing the spare room in my opinion is like my walk-in giant closet but uh, herself has other ideas and she's right too to be fair alright then Donna here he is we would meet up maybe once a week who do you think that is I'm wondering if it's Colin Farrell oh yeah we would meet up maybe once a week it sounds very like him Donna but it's not Colin Farrell very good. Sounds like I'm all right. Listen, well done on getting the spring clean started anyway and enjoy your day, all right? Thank you, Andrew. Take care. Bye.
Bye. That's Donna. She's in Killarney. Spring cleaning, lads. I could think of a million other things I'd rather do, but it's one of the things you have to do, don't you? All right, tomorrow morning, he'll be worth 90 euro. We would meet up maybe once a week. Who is for breakfast on Radio Kerry is brought to you in association with Moriarty Centra and Central Car Sales Farron 4. Cars, coffee and convenient shopping.